Hey guys, Command Block Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be doing another um, Command Block tutorial, and today we are going to be doing the scoreboard command. There are three parts to this command. Um, we have objectives, players, and teams. The objectives of this is you can add scores to players. Like this is a dummy one where if I were to click this, now that scoreboard is active because what it did is it added the objective. And this would be what the name is. So you can put this as anything. And the type is dummy. So basically that um puts like dummy is adding a score so you can change the score to whatever you want. Um another thing that you can do in objectives is to set the display. Um for this you do scoreboard objectives set display and then you do where you want it and the name so we can do below your name um, a list sidebar which is what I have and this is for a bunch of teams Bele yeah so those are them so now if I were to set this you're going to notice that you don't see anything over there and that's because there's not a score yet assigned so in this command this adds one to my player um, you do player you do players in this one um, we'll be covering that later so this adds one to my score so now you can see that over on the right hand side of my screen I have one and you can do the same thing with the players command you can remove score um, and I remove and I can remove one so now I don't have a score again but since the score already showed up now it will stay um, and then this is the score board command if I want to remove it. Um, you can also use the test for command with it, this. So the way that this works is it tests for your player. This it looks for a scoreboard name, which would be the name of your scoreboard. And you do min for minimum, so the lowest score that can be to give an output, and maximum would be um, no minimum at the end. You wouldn't do underscore max. So what I have is when this score is 1, it will be on. When it's two, it will be on, and if it goes to three, it will be off. So anything above three and below one will it it will be off. Okay, so the next command that we have is the team command. Um, this adds a team, so you can see that here it does scoreboard. And instead of objectives, it does teams, add, and then the name, which I did team. So now we have a team. Um, and this would be how to join, slash scoreboard team, join, and then the name. At P, you could do your player name, and you can even do multiple. Um, and you can also 
set um, rules for that team with option, the name, and then you can do collision roll, color, death message visibility, friendly fire, name tag visibility, see friendly invisibles. Um, you can do those and then for collision rule which I'll just be showing the command you can do like always never push other teams push own team things like that um, you can do you can empty the team with that if you were to join so I'm on the team um, now I'm gone so, and this would list the teams, so it would only do it in the output of the command. So, this listed the team. And you can remove teams with that. You can also specifically remove players from teams with slash scoreboard teams. and leave and you do the player name here like at p which would remove like me um, and then the next one that we're going to be looking at is the players um, this is slash scoreboard players add command mc name equals one so, like, if I were to go back here and create the team again, this is the same command that adds score. So now you can see that I have one. The way that this works is it's scoreboard and it targets a specific player. Um, you can add or remove points here, and then you do the player name, um, and you do the team name, and then how many points you want to add. Um, you can list all the teams that I'm on, and it would say, like, an objective or a team, um, and then you can reset the score for all scoreboards with that command. And now let's look at some examples. Okay, and now we're going to be looking at at some setups that I have. So the first one is time. And you use the objectives command and you do t you can do time for the name. And this would be a dummy. So now if I create that and I were to set the display to the sidebar in order to link that up, now you can see that there's a timer running. And if you wanted you could do a um, test for command that whenever the player got to a certain score, it reset the time that they had. Um, and then it could continue to go. Um, the way that I have this doing a second is that there is a clock like this. And there's um, two ticks there and three four ticks there. Yeah. Okay. And then the next one is deaths. Um, you do this with objectives and you have deaths and you do death count for the type. Um, now if I set it to the sidebar, you can see that the time one is gone, but now if I were to do slash kill, now I have. Now I can add deaths to the score. Then from the next one, I have XP level, and you do this with. Um, you, you do the type level, and so this is testing when your level is one. Um, 
So I'm going to do XP one L command MC. So now you can see that this is activated because if I were to go on to survival mode, you can see that I've at least one bar. And for my last example, I'm going to be doing player kill count, which counts how many kills you have. Um, this could be used for uh, a PvP map or something like that, where it's multiplayer. But basically what we have is scoreboard objectives add, and then the name, which I just did kills, and player kill count is the type. So if I click that, I should have it. And this sets it to the sidebar. So now, if I were to step on this pressure plate and kill this account, you can see that the kills appears on the right hand side of my screen. <clears throat> and if this were to be vice versa with um, another player killing you it's not only for just your player anyways guys that's going to be it for today's video if you've enjoyed make sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing if you haven't already and see you guys in the next video bye